Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and first of all congratulations on finishing paper one and paper two and I cannot believe it that we're already here at paper three you've got one exam to go so I'm going to talk you through my top tips for strategies of how you can maximize the work you've put in to try and gain even more marks without doing any more extra work so let's get into my top tips and strategies for paper three so first of all some of the facts about paper three paper three is two hours long and this one is actually worth 30% of your A-level grade. The other two were both worth 35, so it's slightly less. And this is the paper that contains the essay. And the essay is 25 marks, it's at the back, and the essay works out to be almost 10% of your grade. So most of my tips today are gonna to be based on the essay. Now I'm gonna go through my essential tips, but if you want even more advice, knowing exactly how to write it, to plan it, beyond the spec examples, topics you can apply to almost any essay and a model essay, then I definitely recommend you checking out my biology essay bootcamp in the description below. But for now, I'm gonna go through the key details. So strategy tip number one for how you might be able to improve the quality of your essay without doing any extra work is when you start the exam, go straight to the back and read the two essay titles. Reading those two titles, you'll probably get a feel straight away of which one you'll be able to write a better essay for. Now, once you've read it, then go to the front, answer all of the questions, and then just come to do the essay at the end. Now, the reason for this tip is when you look at those two essay titles and come to the decision of which you're gonna write, when you're answering all of the other questions within the exam, your brain will be subconsciously going through which topics would link to that title thinking about the AO1 the AO2 why it's important and you might even get some ideas from the questions themselves so that means when you get to the essay at the end you'll be able to plan it quicker you'll be able to write a better quality essay as well so that's tip number one which involves no extra work but should hopefully mean you write a better quality essay and get more marks Tip number two is making sure you give yourself the correct amount of time to write the essay. AQA recommend that you spend 40 to 45 minutes of this two hour exam writing the essay. And that is so important that you don't shortchange yourself and spend more time on the questions and then rush the essay in the final 20 minutes, let's say. Because as we said, the essay is worth 10% of your grade. So you really should allow yourself the full 40 to 45 minutes. So this exam is a morning exam. For most people, that means it probably starts at 9 a.m. So have a think about the fact that that means you need to start your essay at 10.15, 10.20 at the latest, assuming you are starting at 9 a.m. So keep an eye on the time and when it gets to 10.15, you need to be finishing up and going to that essay to write the plan and then writing the whole essay as well. Now this is so important because if you do run out of time and don't manage to write at least four relevant topics, you'll be capping your mark at either 10 or 15 out of 25, depending on the quality of your essay. So it's so important that you give yourself the 40 to 45 minutes because if you don't get four down you know automatically you are not getting more than 15 marks tip number three links this idea of time management we just said you've got to give yourself 40 to 45 minutes for the essay so that means we need to come up with ways to be faster on the exam questions themselves so the tips that i say to follow to improve your time management would be first of all highlighting the information in the question annotating as you go and making sure that you bullet point your answers that will make you so much quicker and more concise and you are allowed to bullet point your answers for every question on AQA except for the essay so please make sure you're doing that and all of those strategies will make you faster answering the questions so that should mean you'll have plenty of time for the essay and finally this is your last exam so I want to wish you the very very best of luck and I really hope it goes well and all of these tips pay off for you. I'd love to know how you found all of the exams, in particular this one. So after the exam, please come back and put in the comments what you thought. And make sure that you do hang around because although this is your last exam, I've got so many videos designed specifically for you to help you over the summer getting ready for university. So this is not the end. I'm not ready to say goodbye to you just yet. Keep watching. And for now, good luck for tomorrow.